Hi there, I'm Luca Paris, and you're on another culinary journey with me at our wonderful set here at Monadnock Flooring in the Design Center. And I'm here with Dr. Rich, his son Gavin. We're going to have a fun time today, guys, so, you know, buckle up, get on, the, on board. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be talking about summer soups. Now, summer soups are all about cooking as little as possible. We'll talk a little bit with Rich about how healthy it is to actually eat as raw as possible. And we're going to do that today by making a gazpacho, a cucumber soup, a little sautéed shrimp and feta cheese on top, and finally a little peach soup for dessert. So I have some great items to enjoy, very little cooking, but great, great food. So don't go away because your culinary journey starts now. Everybody, welcome back to a culinary journey. I'm here with Dr. Rich, his son Gavin. We're going to cook some cold soups today. So, gentlemen, how are you doing today? Good. Yeah. Fantastic. Excited to be here. Absolutely. Yep. Good. Well, we're going to do some cooking on this show, and it's going to be a little, little interesting. Now, we do have to cook one thing, and I need to get it cooled off before the end of the show, and that's going to be our peaches. So, we're going to cut up some peaches and cook them uh, really quickly, and then we're going to make a gazpacho, and then after that, we're going to make a cucumber soup, a little kind of I say Greek flair to it. So we have the Spanish, we have the Greek, and we'll finish with this nice peaches that we're going to do. So, Rich, yeah. talk to me a little bit about, I mean, when I, when I thought about this show, and I know you were coming on, I was thinking about having a healthy show. And, and actually, eating raw is pretty healthy, right? It's the best way to go. If you want the natural minerals and vitamins and nutrients in the food, raw is the way to go. And yeah. actually, I, I experimented with myself. I ate nothing but raw live plant food really? for a while. And I never felt better in my life. Really? Now tell everybody a little bit about what you do, too, because you are a doctor, and you, you, you not only have experimented with it, but you know a lot about eating healthy and being healthy. That's right. Well, I, I have a natural health care clinic where I take care of people with natural health care, which means we don't use any drugs or surgery. And eating right is a big part of natural health. And, I mean, just watching you cut up this food right here, where this is the kind of stuff you want to be eating. Fresh right. fruit vegetables and but we need variety too you know you can't just you have to really enjoy what you, I believe it's important to enjoy what you eat right I think I think one of the things that I found out in, in the years that I've been cooking with and and learning about food and things like that is not only about hold on this might just sizzle a little bit I'm what I'm doing right now rich and so I could tell everybody too so I'm cooking down a little white wine and honey and peaches to start our dessert soup. So this is just a, a little head, heads up on what's going on. But what I've noticed over the years in learning about food is the healthier foods are the ones you eat in the season that you're supposed to eat. Exactly. You know, I talk to many people and they say, you know, there's a reason why in the winter there's all these cellar type vegetables in New Hampshire. It's because it gives your body the substance to get through the winter. The root right? vegetables, yeah. Yeah, and then you have uh, vegetables or fruits in the summertime because your body needs to be a little bit lighter. Is that right? Exactly. If you eat the foods that are growing on the land at the time of year, you can pretty much bet that you're going to be putting the right things in your body. Right. Absolutely. So it's stick with what's local and what's, the, what's right there. And not only do you get a better product, but it's better for your body in the long run no matter what. I agree. So that's what we're doing today. What we're really going to do is, is use the summertime as a time to go back to the basics and do as little as cooking as possible. Now with, with that, you know, this, uh, boiling down these peaches for our soup is really important, our dessert soup, because they're not going to break down as well if you don't. And a little sweet, extra sweetness with the honey, and a little uh, wine, just to let it simmer. We also add a little bit of sugar to that. And where's my cinnamon? I'll get my cinnamon in later, but we'll work on that too. We'll just put in a whole lemon in there too. A little lemon juice. Citrus goes great with fruits. 
when you get the opportunity to. So we'll squeeze a little lemon juice, get that lemon in there, we'll let that cook down. But what we're going to be making first is a gazpacho. You ever have a gazpacho? I don't think so. No, you've had a gazpacho Bad. before. Yeah. Nice cold tomato soup from Spain or Mexico. You get some great flavors in there. And what we're going to do basically is cut down our ingredients so that way they're as small as possible and that we can create a nice soup from it. Now, a gazpacho is basically a tomato soup with peppers, onions, and then after that, whatever else you want to put. So you could put some scallions in there. You put some celery in there. Put all these nice flavors. But it's really, really simple. And it's a cold soup. Now, the best way to serve gazpacho is serve it the day after you make it. We're going to try it now. We get all our flavors in early on, but when we serve it the day after you make it, you'd be amazed how much more flavor it brings you. So what I've done is chop some diced peppers in there. I'm going to chop some scallions. So Gavin, tell me a little bit about yourself. You enjoy cooking, huh? Yeah. Yeah? Did you ever see a restaurant kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, whose? Yours. All right. Okay, that was a shameful plug because I brought <laughs> Shameless or shameful? I don't know. But anyway, I had Gavin come in and check out my restaurant. And so you, you like cooking at home? Yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? Um, well, I like to grill the most, I think. Do you really? Yeah. So this is a great time of the year for you, huh? Mm -hmm. Enjoying that grilling? Yeah. He has awesome. a gift. Really? It's amazing. So, so you let him do all the grilling at home? He does a lot of grilling, actually. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So would you ever think about doing a cold soup, or you, you don't think that's really cooking? Um, well, I've never made a cold soup, but... Right. Well, cold soups are really interesting. I mean, they go, it, again, if, if you're in the middle of summer, you don't feel like grilling, you don't feel like doing much, too much cooking, uh, just making a cold soup, it's just, it's refreshing, it's nutritious, like we were talking about when we first started, and all that fun stuff. So It's beautiful. I mean, the colors you put in there. Oh, yeah. It's, and, and that's part of enjoying stuff, too, is we, we eat so much with our eyes as well as we do with, with scent and with taste that it's all about great colors and flavors. Let's get a celery in here. For those of you watching the show today that are missing all my flambe techniques and my grilling, sorry about that, but we're just doing cold soups today. And, uh, and we're going to do some really cool fun. Now I'm cutting really small. You could do it a couple ways. There's so many variations of gazpacho out there where you can take um, all these ingredients and pop them together. And then at the end, whoa. You, grind, you, you puree them all together. What we're going to do is we're going to keep some of our soup whole and some of our soup pureed. All right, let's get that started. We're going to actually go to the break and finish some of this off while we're away. But some items we need to add in there, a little rice wine vinegar, or I'm sorry, red wine vinegar. And that's great because what you're going to get from the red wine vinegar is the acidity, a nice blend of acidity. And so you want to get that going. We're going to get in our blender here some tomatoes. And you can use tomato juice. I like using imported peeled tomatoes because I get everything in there. That's the closest thing to a fresh tomato you're going to get. Uh, always remember, we, again, we talked about using product as close to it is. You could use fresh tomatoes in this if you're growing that type of the time of the year. Mm -hmm. You have fresh tomatoes in the garden. As you get further away from the actual tomato or what it looked like, you're actually getting further and further down the so-called food chain of that tomato. A puree is tomatoes that couldn't make it as plum tomatoes. Tomato juice, couldn't make them as puree. You know what I mean? Just keep going further and further away from the, the, the thing we started with. Is that enough for us right now, Gavin? Yeah. Yeah. I also have some roasted beets. Do you like beets? Yeah. For the, for the kids that don't like beets, <laughs> what I do is I put beets in there, too, for a couple of things. They're healthy for you. And you kind of disguise them in there, but it gives it this nice, vibrant, purple, brightness color to the soup that you don't get any other way. We have some fresh parsley that we want to get in there. Fresh basil. Where did my basil go? That's my fresh basil. And we're going to put a little bit of fresh garlic in there too, OK? Is that enough? Yeah. One sure. more? No, you're good? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put a little bit of honey. I know I used some in there, but I like to get a little sweetness to balance that out. And then we'll get some seasoning in there. A little cayenne pepper, right? A little bit of salt and pepper, which we'll check a little bit also. And then we're going to also finish this with some, um, what's that called? Lemon juice. So we'll get that all cooking away. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to puree this up. We're going to come back from break. Then we're going to start putting our soup together, work on our cucumber soup, 
work on our peach soup. We got a lot of work ahead of us, Gavin. Okay. You ready for it? I'm ready. All right. Let's wait, let's get ready to taste. Let me get this started. And uh, there we go. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to A Culinary Journey. I'm here with Dr. Rich and son Gavin. And we're talking gazpacho, right, guys? Yeah. A little bit of spice, a little bit of garlic. I think it's a lot of garlic. Don't tell anybody. It's just between me and you. And, and this is the way we're going to plate it. There's a lot of different, like I mentioned, there's a lot of different ways to plate it. Don't go away, everybody. Not going too far. We are going to find one of these. There you go. Didn't know where I put it. I'll probably find the other one somewhere. And I've taken that little dice of onion and peppers and the scallions, right? Yeah. And I put it right there. I'm sorry, celery and peppers and scallions. And then we take our puree, put it right over the top. Now, this has the beets in it. The tomatoes, oh, it's so yummy. Here you go. Let it me reach good. over in front of you real quick. And this is a cold soup. This is it. You could use fresh tomatoes if you like. All right, give it a little stir. Mix all the ingredients up together. All right, mm -hmm. see what yeah. you think. And then what would be nice on top of here, if you ever want to try it, is a little gazpacho. I mean, not a gazpacho, a little bit of sour cream on top, too, mm -hmm. a little dollop. Mm -hmm. With this, you're going to get a little bite, crunch, fresh, pepper, uh, fresh peppers and everything. Let me know what you think. It's all right. A lot of flavor. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice fresh freshness. Now, this, this is going to be our dessert, right? So just get an idea of what this looks like right now, right? And it's got these peaches with the lemon and the wine and the honey all reduced. I need to get this in the freezer so it cools off. So let me get that in there. It fits. It fits. Yay. So we're letting that cool off in there. And what it's we're going to be making it next is going to be, let me see. You don't want to waste all this great soup, so I'm going to keep it for me. There we go. So now what we're going to be making next is, you know you have to earn your way onto the show, right? Right. All right, why don't you clean that up for me? What we're going to be making next is a cucumber <laughs> soup Just rinse while it Gavin out. works on that. So I'm going to get all the ingredients for that. Gavin's going to clean us up. This and is, it's still good. It's, it's, I mean, it's cold, it's cold soup. You wouldn't think cold soup would have this much flavor. Right, 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 right. And it's crunchy. It's a lot going on in it's, there. It's texture, it's flavor, a little bit of balance mm. of, of a little bit of vinegar right in there. Do you get that? Oh, kind yeah. of jumping out. And I think that's an important thing, and thanks for mentioning it, Rich, is, is mm. the different flavors and different things we have in it. The, the coolest thing about what yep. you do. Hey, you did a good job. Better than I would have done, that's for sure. I would have probably left the other soup in there and let us see what would have really combined, you know? Okay. Uh, what it, what's really important is using different flavors and using a little bit of sweetness, like the tomato has a little natural sweetness, the beets. And then on the other side, using a little vinegar to kind of offset it. So it's really nice. And it's you can taste amount. it all in your tongue. It's, it's got the sweet, it's got the salty, it's got, and it has aftertaste. I mean, it's delicious. Yeah, good? Yeah, awesome. it's wonderful. I did a good job. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Every once in a while, I get it right on this mm. show. What we're going to be making next, really interesting, is a cucumber soup. Mm. Kind of going in the same vein as what we did before. The only thing I need to find on here is somewhere in this kitchen, there's some rice mm -hmm. wine or white wine vinegar. We're going to make sure we get some of that too. And what we're going to do is take these English cucumbers. Now, English or European or fancy, you take the name of it, is uh, they're seedless inside. And then the skin of the cucumber is really tender. So whereas some recipes tell you you need to clean off cucumbers if they're regular garden cucumbers, mm -hmm. if they're local especially, you really want to take the skin on. They're really waxy, really strong. You don't want to use that in something like this. But what this does for something like cold cucumber soup, it gives it a part, it imparts a little more bright, vibrant flavor and color to the soup. So what we're going to do is break this down so we get our soup going on this side. This is totally, totally a cold soup. There's nothing in there with any heat just like our first one. The only thing we're doing on our last soup when we do our peaches is, is breaking down the soup, uh, the peaches, just a little bit. So how you doing, Gavin? You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. So your first gazpacho, huh? A little crunch to it. Do you eat a lot of raw, raw stuff, too? Not really. No. Nope. <laughs> Every morning, what do we have? Oh, yeah, smoothie. But. <laughs> and, and you know what? This is, a, this is very similar to a smoothie, just mm -hmm. it's vegetables instead of fruits and things like that. The, uh, the soup that we have at the end is going to resemble your smoothie because we're going to have a little bit of yogurt in there too, our peach soup, which is really yummy. So, so Gavin, tell everybody how old you are. 13. Yeah, and you're the grill master at home? Yeah. All right. What's your favorite thing to grill? 
Um, well, we grill chicken a lot. But, you do? Yeah. Awesome. All you did right. that. We, we got swordfish. Yeah. And that was good. It was the best grilled swordfish. <laughs> really? It was amazing. And he made it all. He made it. That's a beautiful thing. That's absolutely awesome. All right. Let's get the edges there. One of the things you try not to do is throw, throw away any of your vegetables, uh, especially the ends and everything. They make great stock. And what better way to add to a good soup in the future than really good vegetable stock, which was made with the vegetables that you would have normally thrown away, which are now recycled and all that fun stuff. And that's a big important thing too. So try and keep all those ingredients. So we have some peppers. We have some cucumber. What I'm going to do is get started. We're going to cook. We're going to put a little bit of a garnish on top of this. We're going to actually cook up some shrimp with some herbs and garlic, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to cook up that shrimp. We're going to actually crumble some feta cheese on top of this soup. So we're going to have some fun stuff coming on. All right. We were talking about healthy. When you, when you eat green food, mm -hmm. green is healthy. And this is beautiful green. Really? Look at that. Now, is it, is it because of the, does the color impart something else, or is it just... It's a good, it's good gauge to go by. Go green and, and you stay healthy. They say green on the inside is clean on the inside. Beautiful. Yeah. I like the way you're thinking. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of the onion. Should have, should have done my green scallion at this point. See, I would have, should have known that before. <laughs> I would have stayed all green. That's got, that's got plenty of green in there. It does. Yeah. It does. All right. Real quick, how to cut an onion. See what I just did first? Yeah. That's right, cool. Gavin. You're on it. Cut it down in the middle like that. And then as I go down, boom, I got everything I need. There you go, my onion's all cut up. Now why do I cut it up, all this stuff so small? Because I really want to puree it, get it pureed nice and quick. There's a lot of, lot of moisture in all this food. So I'm going to puree it, and you're going to be amazed at how fast it kind of purees down with its own moisture. So we got that going. I want to get my shrimp in. Just dump them right in the pan. A little. And all I'm really doing is quick season on this, tossing it around. Shrimp's going to cook quickly, so when we come back, we'll kind of take care of that in itself. We are going to add just a touch of vegetable stock to help with the moisture of what we're making here. We're going to add some garlic, of course. We're going to add some lemon juice. That's going to be our acid in this whole thing. Uh, and we'll add some vinegar also a little later. I'll show you that. A little bit of lemon juice is part of our acid. And voila, I think we're golden for right now. Get a cover on this bad boy. Let's do the same thing we did before. We're going to finish cooking the shrimp, get the feta ready. We're going to dice some tomatoes, put some dill as a garnish so we just break it up. And um, don't go away because we're going to be back in a culinary minute. Welcome back to a culinary journey. I'm here with Gavin and Rich, and we are pureeing our what? Cucumber uh, soup. Cucumber soup. There you go. <laughs> common marker. That's what you know all about is common markers, right now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we pureed our cucumber soup down. We have onions. We have celery. We have cucumbers in there. Now we want to just give it even a little bit more flavor. A couple things we're going to add to that. It's going to add a little rice wine vinegar. Remember we talked a little bit about that acidity kind of blend. Now. Cucumber soups by themselves are going to be a little bit more on the bland side, so we're going to be careful with that. But I don't want to give it spice. I just want to give it some salt and pepper in that. And then we're going to garnish with some dill, but I want to add some chopped dill to this also. So let's get that in there. And the chopped dill will just kind of break up while we're finishing it. Now you could do your cucumber soups a couple of different ways. You could take it from this point, and then you could... You could set it through a strainer so it's really silky smooth. I love texture. I love little bites and stuff. Even if it's a little grimy, it's really got some nice flavor. So we'll let that sit for a second. And then we're, while that's going on, what I want to do next is do my garnish for the top. Now we need some color to this. You saw how vibrant the colors were before in our gazpacho. Very nice. So you saw how vibrant before the colors were on our gazpacho. But what I want to do is create some nice color contrast. We add, of course, the green for the dill, and dill is just wonderful on it. But we're going to add some diced tomato on top. And what that's going to do is give us a nice little bright red on top. You could do anything you want as far as a garnish goes. You could do tomato. You could do um, beets on it. 
basically anything that gives it some nice color. If you like peppers, do some peppers on it. You can do that also. So we're going to do this. Do the tomatoes with the dill. We're going to add a little bit of protein to this, and we're going to add some chopped shrimp on top too, right? That's nice. A little warm shrimp contrast, flavor contrast, heat. Yeah. So we'll just pop some of that on there. And then last thing we're going to do is going to sprinkle some feta cheese right on top of all of that. So we have all those contrasts and flavors and textures and yummy stuff. So important thing to do when cooking is always, or, or blending, cooking. We haven't done any cooking today. Important thing to do when making something is to taste it. You want to make sure there's enough salt, pepper, vinegar. All right, just a little more vinegar. We need a little bit more. Just get that in there. Just so you have some contrast too, right? Get that going. We got everything? We got everything? Yeah. You think? Beautiful. I agree with you. All right. So let's pour out this soup right into your bowl. Whoop, am I getting it all over you? Oh, uh, just water. It's just water. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's got some nice colors there. Look at that. Yeah. Huh? And just on a health note, yes. the celery in there, it's really good for your stomach. Is it really? Good yeah. digestive kind of thing? It just helps to soothe and cool your stomach. Celery more than any other vegetable that I know of. Wow. We're going to do well with the show together, you, you and I. Right. We might have to, have to come, have you come on a couple of times and give me some good healthy stuff. What, and look. sit here and eat all your delicious food? Yeah, why not? I think, I think you could twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll give you up at lunches every once in a while at the restaurant. How's that? All right, so we got that. going to break some feta cheese on top of that. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. boy, I'm jealous. This looks nice. Yeah. All right, go to town, gentlemen. Mm. All right, you get to take a couple of bites, Gavin, then you got to be my assistant for a couple of seconds, all right? Bye. Cheers. All right, let me get rid of this while you two are enjoying that. And we are going to do our next soup. So, mm. good stuff? Pretty good. It's right. so different than the last one. Right. A little lighter. A little mm -hmm. lighter. It's little, delicious. A little brighter, a little lighter, all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Nice stuff. We'll mix that with our shrimp. Gavin, don't get too comfortable. Mm. There you go, sir. We're going to make peach now. We're going to finish the show off with peaches. Mm. And a great soup to make is a peach soup. Yeah? Can you clean everything off for me? Mm. Sure. We'll do that. So. Rich, you talked a little bit about how you, you do a lot of uh, smoothies in the morning, right? And smoothies are a thing you like. And uh, what, what, is, uh, what, what do your smoothies usually consist of? A bunch of fruit. Right. And some celery, some greens, and mix it all up. It's just an easy way to get all the fruits and vegetables. Like this morning, put apple, blueberry, raspberry, celery, greens. Yeah, some peach seeds. So some, ahead of me. And some hemp seeds in there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Excellent. And so all those flavors come together nicely. You have a nutritious breakfast. Easy. It's on the run. It's quick. Yeah. And yeah. that's it. So we're, we're kind of doing the same thing with what we're doing here with our, our um, soup here, which is, in essence, a smoothie. Now, what we did is we cooked down our peaches with some white wine and honey. Mm -hmm. So you have this nice glaze here. Right? And then let's not lose too many of the peaches. And then what we're going to add to that is just a touch of cream. A little bit of cream, some yogurt. Now, good yogurt goes a long way, so I'll just do a couple of things of yogurt. I already have some lemon in there, right? And then the only other thing we're going to do is a little bit of cinnamon. And we're going to puree all that together. Simple enough, right? Nice dessert. Just wait till it cooks down. So do you like the way the warm shrimp goes with the, with the soup? Now the thing about it, I left the skins on, right? Remember when I left the skins on? Again, a little bit of texture right in there. And again, nutrition's in there too, so we want to keep that going. And here I'm looking for sweet, so... Oh man, that is really good. <laughs> <laughs> it surprised even me. So we have a little peach soup for mm. dessert. You want, a, you want a little addition to that. What's something nice to do with that, too, is uh, throw a little ice cream on top, a little gelato. But we're going to take some toasted almonds mm. and just throw those. Again, a little texture buzz right there. You really like that soup, huh, Gavin? Yeah. 
Nice. Look at that. Once again, another culinary journey done wonderfully. And I think that's it, guys. I'm going to let you keep eating. We get to your dessert soup when we get off the air. But our culinary journey has come to end. Rich, Gavin, thank you for being guests. Thank Thanks you. for all your help. Yeah. And that's it. Until next time, I'll see you on our next culinary journey.